fire at an online video game tournament in Jacksonville, Florida, killing two people before fatally shooting himself. The rampage raises concerns and questions about security at eSports events. Joining us now is Steve Rogers. He's a former FBI National Joint Terrorism Task Force officer. Steve, good morning. Good morning. Um, you know, we've seen a rapid rise in, in eSports. Do you think there should be more security at these venues? Well, there are a couple of issues here. Number one, yes, uh, they're going to have to, these venues are going to have to reassess the security concerns and do the best they could to make sure that in the event something like this occurs, that there are trained armed personnel that could help prevent this. But saying that, look, we've had committee meetings for years, panel discussions for years about this uh, problem of violence. Uh, nothing's been done. And what has to be done is we have to look at the mental health of the nation, uh, the violence 24-7 being fed to a young generation of people from, from, from kindergarten age. Uh, so this has to be looked at, it has to be studied, and we have to address the mental health condition uh, of the people of this nation. And how it affects Florida specifically, Steve, 17 were killed in Parkland, Florida earlier this year, five last year at the uh, Fort Lauderdale Airport, 49 at the Pulse nightclub in 2016 in Orlando. If politics isn't the answer, I want to ask you what is. Listen to what Governor Rick Scott had to say. I really do believe we all have to step and step back and say, what's the reason why? Why is this happening? Why have young men changed their outlook on life? Why don't they value uh, value life? And you were getting at that, Steve. What do you think about what the governor had to say? Well, he, he's got a point, and, and we change the value of life if we go back to a, a strong family unit. I've said all along we have to get our pastors and our ministers and our clergy people across this nation re-engaged with the, the individual spirit of man. You know, if the heart of man doesn't change, all that we try to do politically is not going to change anything. So there has to be a massive community effort to bring back those, those values that we were grounded on and founded upon in this nation, and it has a lot to do with spirituality. People don't want to talk about that, but I certainly will. Uh, so, so if we re-engage with our pastors, our local churches and synagogues and temples and whatever, at least it's the beginning to make some sort of change with regard to what the governor said as we look at the value of a human being. Do we know anything, Steve, about the possible motive for this shooter aside from the fact that he lost the game? There's the unanswered question that has to be answered. Uh, this is why police are going to do a forensic study of this individual's computers, iPhones, iPads, etc. What in the world was on this person's mind? Was this pre-planned or did he just go berserk as a result of losing this game? But there will be a lot, uh, uh, b a lot will be told and revealed once the motive is found. Yeah, and uh, quickly, Steve, the FBI has raided his family's home in an upscale part of, of Maryland. Uh, what do you think they were looking for? And do you know if they found anything? Well, they're looking for, obviously, his computers, his electronic footprints. Where was he on his computer the day before, the week before? That's going to tell a lot if they're able to find information on there. But right now, uh, they're at a dead end. Steve Rogers, thank you. You're welcome.